Hi guys, and welcome to the Family Fudge. Today on What's Cooking Wednesday, I have two delicious meatball recipes to share with you. First up, I'll be making a dish with all the flavors of traditional Salisbury steak, but with only half the work. It's seriously good and definitely a dish my whole family loves. After that, I'm making an Asian-inspired dish. This recipe combines fully cooked meatballs and a sticky honey garlic sauce. This recipe is great served over rice and you can make it in less than 30 minutes. So stay tuned and I will show you how to make both of these delicious meatball recipes. Okay guys, so why two meatball recipes? Well, in case you didn't know, National Meatball Day is actually coming up. It's on March 9th. So in today's video, I'm super excited to be partnering with Cooked Perfect Meatballs. They've challenged me to share my favorite recipes that use their frozen meatballs. And I definitely think this is a challenge I can do. So if you've never tried Cooked Perfect Meatballs, you will be surprised. Now since these meatballs are fully cooked, they're really easy to throw into so many different dishes. You can put them in the crock pot, add them to pasta, or add them to sliders. They are so versatile, and they come in a lot of different varieties as well. Chicken, turkey, Angus beef, Italian style, home style, you name it. And they're really easy to find. I find mine at Walmart. And without further ado, let's get started. I'm starting with one bag of the cooked perfect meatballs. These are fully cooked and frozen, and I'm using the Italian style. I'm also using two gravy packets. Now you definitely could make your own gravy here, but this makes it really easy. I'm also using two cups of beef broth, 16 ounces of sliced mushrooms. I'm also using one teaspoon of powdered garlic and one teaspoon of powdered onion. I'm also using one teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce, about one tablespoon of olive oil, two tablespoons of ketchup, and salt and pepper to taste. I'm starting with a large pan over medium heat. To this I'm going to add my olive oil and start sauteing my mushrooms. So while my mushrooms are cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and prepare the gravy. To my broth, I'm gonna go ahead and add my gravy mix, my powdered garlic and my powdered onion, my ketchup, and the Worcestershire sauce. Make sure that there's no lumps in this gravy. I wanna give it a good whisk. And at this point, I'm not gonna add any salt or pepper, because gravy can be pretty salty already. When the mushrooms are cooked, I can add my gravy mixture to the pan. And then I'm going to add my frozen meatballs. Now you definitely could defrost these first if you'd like. That would make it cook even faster. These are fully cooked. You really just have to heat them through. So now I'm gonna cook this on low until the meatballs are warmed through and my gravy is thickened. Now this part is optional, but if you have some parsley flakes, you can definitely sprinkle it on top as a garnish. I would like to serve these on top of some creamy mashed potatoes. These are so good. Next up, I have an Asian-inspired meatball dish. For this, you're going to need one bag of the Cooked Perfect frozen meatballs. This time, I'm using the home-style version. I'm also using three quarters of a cup of ketchup, three tablespoons of low-sodium soy sauce, two tablespoons of hoisin sauce, which is basically an Asian-style barbecue sauce. It's really very tasty. Now to make a sticky sweet sauce, I'm also using three quarters of a cup of honey. Now this is actually honey from my husband's honeybees. It's really good. And finally, I'm gonna add a lot of garlic. You can definitely add more or less, whatever you prefer. I'm gonna start by preparing my honey garlic sauce. To a medium bowl, I'm going to add my ketchup, my soy sauce, the hoisin sauce, and the honey. And don't forget the garlic. I'm going to grate my garlic directly into the bowl. Then I'm gonna give this a big stir. Next, to a large pan over medium heat, I'm going to drizzle a little bit of olive oil. Next, I'm going to add in the meatballs. Now you could defrost these or not, totally up to you. I'm gonna go ahead and add my sauce and I'm going to cook these on medium until the meatballs are warmed through. And the sauce will thicken a little bit. And you definitely wanna come back and stir the sauce frequently so it doesn't burn. I love to serve this over rice. 
Now this part is optional, but if you have some green onions, you can sprinkle them on top as a garnish. Okay friends, thank you so much for joining me today. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Also, let me know in the comments down below if you plan on celebrating National Meatball Day or not. And if you are, what kind of meatballs are you going to make? And if you have any questions about the Cooked Perfect Meatballs, I'll go ahead and put a link to their website down below so you can check it out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.